Good morning. These past few months, in particular, have presented obstacles and some potential setbacks. And we know that difficult days lie ahead. But despite the challenges, the United States is committed to the people of Afghanistan. And we have made progress together that too often is overlooked in the face of the headlines that talk about some um, unfortunate uh, incident. A short time ago, we reached a grim milestone. Uh, we have seen access to electricity brought to parts of Afghanistan that had never experienced that before. And I could go on and on. And I hope one of the results of this bilateral commission meeting will be to help publicize the positive gains that the Afghan people have experienced over the last decade, thanks to their hard work and determination. Welcome all of you to the State Department, to the Benjamin Franklin Room. We will continue to pursue the peace <clears throat> process vigorously. This is the just and deserving right of the Afghan people in the shortest path to ending the cycle of violence in Afghanistan. We recognize the significance of the upcoming election for the future stability of Afghanistan. He will, assure, he will ensure that the necessary conditions are in place for building, for holding free, fair, and transparent elections. For many committed actors in both our government, as we continue to advance human rights, enhance regional cooperation for peace and prosperity, develop our human and natural resources, combat corruption, improve governance, build infrastructure, public health and education, and to fight terrorism and extremism, we will count on the, on the continuing and substantial support of our biggest and most important ally the United States of America. For many committed actors in both our government. Thank you so much, Minister. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Excellent statement. Now, now we will leave the hard working teams here. <laughs> Thank you.